Why do we have leap years? First of all, what is a leap year? In a normal year, we have 365 days, with February having 28 days. Every four years, however, February gets an extra day, taking the year up to 366 days. But why does this happen? This is all to do with how we define our days and years. One day is the time taken for the Earth to spin once on its axis, while one year is the time taken for the Earth to complete one full orbit of the Sun. Unfortunately, these two measurements don't match up nicely, and one solar year equals 365.2422 days. This extra 0.2422 days a year means a 365 day calendar quickly falls out of sync with the actual seasons. So, in the year 45 BC, Julius Caesar decreed that the calendar should be reset and a leap day added every four years. This effectively created a calendar year of 365.25 days and a system which we call the Julian calendar. So, using the Julian calendar, there was a year of 365.25 days much closer to the actual value of 365.2422, and the calendar and the season stayed in sync much better than before. Unfortunately, there was still a difference, equating to about 11 minutes a year. Now, this doesn't sound like much, but it added up, and by the 16th century, the calendar was 10 days out. Having a calendar out of sync with the actual seasons was a problem for the Christian church as it created issues with the timings of many of their celebrations, such as Easter, for example. To solve this, Pope Gregory XIII commissioned a new calendar, the Gregorian calendar. In 1582, the calendar was reset by skipping 10 days and an extra rule was implemented. The leap years were now every four years, except for those years divisible by 100, but not 400. So, for example, the years 1600 and 2000 were leap years, the years 1700, 1800, 1900 and 2100 are now not leap years. The Gregorian calendar creates a calendar of 365.2425 days, closer still to the actual length of the year. This time we only have a difference of approximately 27 seconds per year, which equates to an error of one day roughly every 3200 years.